assalamu alaikum and good afternoon today uh, we'll be doing the experiment for tensiometer voltmeter calibration so in this you are going to find the that is you are going to calibrate the given low range voltmeter using potentiometer and here the apparatus required are potentiometer accumulator flux key rheostat danielson high resistance galvanometer low range voltmeter which is of 0 to 2 volt and connecting connection uh, connecting wires and the formula we used to uh, substitute as v prime equal to 1.08 by l not into l so this is the voltmeter reading that is the correction in the voltmeter reading which is v prime and uh, v prime minus v so will be uh, calculating uh, the l not as well as the l uh, for various voltmeter reading so the circuit diagram for this potentiometer wire is uh, you have a battery key rheostat and a to b is the potentiometer and for l not will be uh, having the uh, circuit which is that is to find l not you have the circuit as battery key and you have a rheostat and the potentiometer wire a to b followed by you have a daniel cell galvanometer high resistance and the jockey so this is the circuit to find l not and this is the second circuit to find the uh, balancing length for each voltmeter reading so we will be connecting this later so before that we should connect this uh, a uh, circuit to find the balancing length of the emf of the daniel cell right so i'll just show you the instrument what you use here so you can see this is the battery which is of 2 volt right so you have a battery here you have connected battery with the key so you have a key provided right so this is the key so if you insert the key then it is switch on okay so uh, the circuit the current passes across the circuit if you remove it the current will not pass so you can take the key and remove it and you have a daniel cell which is of 1.08 volts and higher resistance galvanometer uh, which has the value on either side is 0 to 30 and you have 0 to 30 and uh, this is the jockey provided right and you have a potentiometer so in the circuit you can see a to b is the potentiometer wire so how it has been arranged that i'll tell you here so this is a simple concept so you have a long wire so we name this as a to b okay so in this uh, apparatus it has been arranged uh, in this way so in this way they have arranged the potentiometer wire so it is of uh, totally 100 meter in the sense each one is 1 meter right so when you see the potentiometer wire so here you can see the potentiometer wire which is 1 meter here the first wire is 1 meter or you can say 100 cm followed by you have 2 meter 3 4 5 6 up to 10 meter you have or else you can say uh each is 100 cm so 100 into 10 which is 1000 cm right so this is the wire starts at a and ends up at b right and uh, uh now we'll be calculating the balancing length of the emf of the daniel cell so we have connected the circuit from positive of the battery to key that is positive of the battery to a and here negative of the battery to key the other end of the key to b and next is the positive of the that is positive of the daniel cell here you can see the positive of the daniel cell to a so i'll be connecting the positive of the daniel cell to a negative of the daniel cell to high resistance or galvanometer and uh, followed by you have a galvanometer negative to jockey and when you connect the jockey use the long wire to connect it so that you can move of uh, uh, move the jockey on the wire to get readings right so now we want to find l not for this switch on the circuit so the battery is of 2 volt you can switch on it 
the Daniel cell as well as the battery. Now we bother to find the L0. How will you find the L0 here? So first thing is, this is the first wire which is of 100 cm. So you touch the jockey here on the wire. So it goes to the, you can see the galometer. Galometer reads on 30, right? It should go either to the left or right. And if you go to the end of the wire, that is the last wire, it should go exactly opposite to it, right? So if the, if this moves, uh, exactly opposite to it then the connections are correct suppose if it deflects on the same side then the connections are wrong so you can see the primary circuit so primary circuit means either you have uh, connected the wrong connection as negative to a something like that so you please check this primary circuit if the deflection is on the same side right otherwise it will be correct now, so we want to find the L0. So now it deflects on either side. So we want the deflection, uh, we want the pointer to coincide exactly to 0. So you just press the wire using jockey and drag it. So now you can see the balancing length of the wire which reads 0. So now you count the wires. So it is of 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So 500 completed, right? So wires completed at 500, right? And it reads some way here at 6th wire. So you see the scale accordingly. So it starts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 500 completed. So, you keep that in mind, find 500 and it lies on the 6th wire. Now, you can see the scale here. You have upscale and downscale. So, it starts from 1 to 100 over there. So, the first wire starts at here. 1 to 100. So, for 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and all, you see the upscale. And if you have 2, 4, 6, 8, you can see the downscale. Right? So, accordingly you can measure. Now, uh, the 0 lies here some way on the 5th wire. Right? So, you can see that 500, it lies on the 6th wire. So, you should see the down scale. So, use the small scale, small scale to see the reading across this. Right? So, you can see the down scale which reads 38.9. Right? So, it is 538.9. That is the reading to find the, uh, to, uh, that is you have for the balancing length L0. Right now, for the second circuit, in this uh, you will be removing the connection Daniel cell galvanometer higher resistance. In place of this, you will connect the old meter. So, remove the connection of Daniel cell. connect with the old meter. So you can connect the old meter with the old. and other end of the old meter to the jockey. So we will be calculating the balancing length for each old meter reading. Now you can, uh, you can see the old meter which has the olds from 0 to 2. So we bother to take for 0.5, 1, 1.5, 1.52 so on right so if you need 0.5 suppose you want 0.5 balancing length you can adjust it see if you want to place it for 0.1 
first go from the first wire so this reads point 1 so you can say very well that 1 3 5 7 you see the top scale so it is conveyed here which is 68.9 right similarly you do it for the point 2 suppose this point 2 reads somewhere here right you can see here so this is point 1 and it is trying to move for the point 2 so it is 100 centimeter over and it lies on the second wire so 100 is over so second wire you see the down scale so 1, 3, 5, 7 you see the upscale and for this one wire so it is 100 centimeters so see the downscale which is 31.2 so it is 131.2 we used to measure it only in centimeter right so like that you can go up to 1.52 volts right so you can take number of readings by placing the jockey on the wire right so for various old meter reading you can find the balancing length of the potentiometer of a wire right so thank you girls